Hi, I'm Joe Danier, and welcome to Youngstown Studio. I'm an entrepreneur, an investor, a business development coach, and most importantly, a huge dreamer. You may have heard me before on my radio show, The Youngstown Computer Show, or The Bottom Line Business Show. Today's episode is by far the most popular segment we've ever done. A few months ago, even WFMJ's own Andrew DiPaolo did a tandem jump with me into this scene. Today, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of scams in a segment called Scam Baiting. This episode was brought to you by Youngstown Computer, the Valley's technology company. We appreciate the loyalty you all have shown to us over the years, and it's our promise to serve all of the technology needs of the Valley. Call 330-259-7278. We have both home and business services available, everything from repair, installations, and new equipment. You can improve your Wi-Fi and have your technology serve you better. Call 330-259-7278, or you can schedule your appointment right now on youngstowncomputer.com and look for the red Book Now button. Okay, so here's how this works. I basically use an email account as a honeypot email address. All that means is that I use this email address on message boards, on the internet, to subscribe to things. That email address attracts a bunch of junk mail. And in that junk mail, there a lot of times are these scammers phone numbers, the phone numbers that are attached to the call centers that the call centers in which they pull off the scams. The one I'm specifically looking for today is called the refund scam. And that is where an email is generated and sent to you. And it says that you have been either subscribed to something or purchased something in a set amount. And it is saying, call this number if you want to cancel uh, before it charges to your bank account. And a lot of times these are phishing uh, accounts. So a lot of times this stuff won't apply to you. They'll use a bank name that you don't use or use a shipping carrier that you don't use. But some people do use those things. And that's what it's preying upon is that you're waiting for a UPS package or you use Bank of America or you uh, buy things from Amazon. And then when you see that message comes in, they're, they're hoping that you jump to a conclusion like there's a real problem and you call. And the one that we see a lot is the McAfee scam or an antivirus scam in general, where you subscribe every year to your antivirus and every year they bill you a lump sum. And so when you see that coming in and you happen to have Norton antivirus or you have McAfee, it sometimes will give them a, a good, um, you know, a good candidate for one of their, one of their scams. And so I want to warn you that some of the audio quality is not the best. And these are call centers that we're calling into. So sometimes I have to juice the gain at the last minute. Uh, so it's not studio quality recorded. So I just want to give you that warning. And sometimes the language gets a little bit rough. So I want to warn you that we beeped out all of the uh, episodes where curse words were used. Uh, but just so you know that some of these escalate where they get a little irritated with being messed with. And so that is your warning. So here we go. Here's our first reel. Thank you for calling support. To speak with a live representative, please press 9. Please press valid number. To speak with a live representative, please press 9. Thanks for calling. How can I help you today? Hi, I needed to uh, cancel a uh, Geek Squad subscription. Okay, so did you receive any kind of invoice? Yes, I received an email, and I, I, I don't know if it's too late to cancel it. It looks like it's already charged. Um, so can, if, if possible, if I can cancel it and get refunded for it? Yeah, definitely, sir. It is possible. So do you have the customer ID in your email? Can you just give me the last four digits of your customer ID? Uh, 0302. Zero three zero two, and what is the amount you are getting charged? The it, charge amount? It it says four ninety nine ninety nine, and I I really don't even remember signing up for it. I mean, I've shopped from Best Buy before, but I don't remember signing up for Geek Squad. Uh, yes, sir. This much of money you are going to be charged as an auto renewal payment of your computer support. If you try to remember a long time ago. You used to have computer support with Geek Squad. 
and that computer support is going to be auto renewed so that's why you have been charged today okay so you already told me that you want to cancel it and want your refund so in order to cancel the support and just to get your money back you have to fill up a cancellation form on your computer so do you have a computer in front of you i do okay so just go ahead and sit in front of your computer right now if you want to cancel this order now could it be that Is the subscription came with uh, the computer like for free and because i don't remember paying for this last year okay it was free when you got the computer, but right now it is chargeable. Uh, okay, so, to, con so to continue it, I have to pay. Okay. Okay, computer. You already the been charged. It. Okay, the computer started up now. Which computer is this? It's a Windows computer or it's a Mac computer? Uh, it's a Dell Windows computer. Okay, just. Turn it on. And what's your first name? My name is Alex. Alex Smith? That is, yes. <laughs> you are son of a bitch, right? No, no. Yeah, Alex, you, you wouldn't you talk to me. You, you wouldn't talk hey, to me. Yes. Alex. Why wouldn't you talk son to me? Yes. Bitch, mother Can you tell me why you do this? You yes, mother Why should I tell you that? Who well, the because hell I want to know. I, I want to know why would you would take advantage of people. Hello. The mailbox is full. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Thanks for calling support. Press 1 to speak to our customer care representative. If you know the... Please wait while we connect your call. Thank you for calling support. This is Andy. How may I help you? Hi. Thank goodness you're open on a Sunday here. Um, I'm trying to cancel a McAfee subscription that came through my email. All right. And uh, why you want to cancel the subscription, sir? Um, I don't even remember subscribing. Um, I have. I think I switched over to Norton, and I don't have McAfee, but I don't want to be built for it. Okay. So, uh, could you please help me with your first name and last name? Sure. My first name is Alex, and last name is Smith. Alex Smith, right? Correct. Just a moment. Sure. And uh, is McAfee installed in your any device? I, I don't think so. I, I looked for it before I made this call, and I don't see it anywhere on the computer. All right. Let me go ahead and help you with the installation in just a moment. Sure. Uh, are you sitting in front of the computer right now? I am. All right, uh, I will help you with inst on installation for this McAfee. Uh, I would like to know, are you by, uh, uh, what do you see on your computer screen at this moment? Um, I, I can power it on real quick. Give me a second. And uh, open a web page for me. That is www.help, H-E-L-P, help fix. So I got www.help, H-E-L-P. Fix. F I X fix okay F I X dot me dot M E help fix Correct. me and then hit okay got it then hit okay you clicked on okay um I did hit it okay yes all right what do you see on your screen now um I see ultra viewer okay just open that file. Okay. And uh, what do you have on the screen now? Um, I have two boxes. I have one that says downloading required files, and I have the other one that says Ultra Viewer 6.5. Just open Ultra Viewer 6.5. Okay. Please help me with the ID number and the password. Okay, it's uh, three nine four seven five four seven four. 
And then the password is 6780. All right. And would you mind helping with your first name and last name? Okay. My first name is Alex. Just a moment. Let me connect with you so sure. that we can look for the problem you're facing here. Okay. So the password is 6780, correct? Uh, 6780. Uh, no, do, do not do anything okay. with the computer, okay? Gotcha. Just leave it as it is right now. Okay, okay. got it. We have been successfully connected here. I'm on. I'm working on a machine. You can see I'm just moving the cursor right here. Okay, got it. And uh, before going ahead and fixing your issue, we need to confirm a few of the details right here in front of you. Uh, Kindly help me with this information so that we can help you to fix your problem. Okay. And for that, like, we need very first your complete name, and then we need your oh, email, sorry. and uh, then also help me with your phone. Uh, I mean, uh, help me with these two details here. Uh, so uh, here is the problem with like uh, you got a uh, message with the McAfee and you want to uninstall the McAfee in your device. You don't want McAfee anymore, right? Correct. Okay, uh, no, you don't need to worry about the, uh, anything else, Alex. Uh, let me work on this machine okay. and let me uninstall it for you. Okay. Once we're done, we'll, you, you'll get a call from our end and I don't want you. All right, so this scammer stayed logged into my computer for about 15 minutes. He put some stuff up on the screen to keep me distracted and told me, no matter what, don't touch anything on the computer. He was digging through some of my settings, looking for documents and what the computer was named and what was in my browser, and he eventually stumbled on the fact that he was on a virtual machine. Now, most users don't even know what a virtual machine is, let alone being hosted by one, so he got wise to me and he hung up the phone. Now, if this would have continued, had he not noticed it was a virtual machine, here's a little bit what it would have looked like. So he would have said, okay, $399 billed to your account. Let's get you refunding. And so he would have brought up a, a form that I would have to fill out to requ request a refund. When I hit submit, he would have told me that that submission would have deposited the money back in my bank account. And why don't you log into your bank account right now to check sure check to make sure that it actually deposited. So I'd log into my bank account and they would, would have blacked out my screen. Couldn't see anything. He's in the background doing something. The screen resumes and now I see the transaction at the top of that page. He just went back and edited the HTML of my banking page and made it look like that was a legitimate transaction. So then he says, uh, it, but rather than making the deposit for the $399, he accidentally would have added a decimal point and now it's $3,900. He would have totally flipped out, started crying, pulled at my heartstrings, saying he's gonna get fired and his family is not gonna eat. Would you please, sir, send me back $2,900 so I don't lose my job? I get, uh, you know, my, my tender heart goes into the transfer. I send him $2,900. His transaction was fictitious. Mine was real. He gets me for $2,900. So that is how the actual scam goes down. So be aware of that when you're logged into the refund scam. That's usually how it plays out. This episode was brought to you by Youngstown Computer, the Valley's technology company. We appreciate the loyalty you all have shown to us over the years, and it's our promise to serve all of the technology needs of the Valley. Call 330-259-7278. We have both home and business services available, everything from repair, installations, and new equipment. You can improve your Wi-Fi and have your technology serve you better. Call 330-259-7278, or you can schedule your appointment right now on youngstowncomputer.com and look for the red Book Now button. This next clip is my absolute favorite. I want to warn you, the audio is terrible. Uh, this guy had me on speakerphone in the middle of a call center, so we had to way amplify the audio. It's a little rough. You can make it out, but I wanted to give you that warning. Now, what is most shocking about this clip, other than the language, is how these people really feel about you and how they feel about 
stealing your money. So this is one of my favorite clips of all time. Here we go. Okay, uh, why, why do I do this for people? When yeah. I was born, the doctor said, you know, a scammer is born and he's going to f*** all the Americans who are old, you know, cold and cup. <laughs> so, so and they have a lot of money. I take the money from them. Yeah, it, do, you don't have any regret? You don't have any empathy for the people that no, you scam? No, 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 no regrets. I tell you why, because we are in India. So basically in the morning when we log off, that is your, your evening, six, seven o'clock, that's morning here, right? So when we go to sleep, when I go to bed, right? Trust me, wow, what a satisfactory sleep I get. I just scammed somebody. I just took somebody's $30,000 from their pocket to my pocket. I swear on your mother, I swear on Jesus Christ, I got more than that. Seriously? We are almost gonna touch we are almost gonna touch nine hundred thousand dollars this month. And this is just seventeenth of June here in India. Yeah, and you you don't get you don't you don't get all of that though. You have you only get a little piece no, of it. The per person that owns the operation gets most of it, right? No, no, we never get we never we never get, you know, the full cut. There is actually a big cut because, you know, the money comes from different ways, right? So the person who receives the money, they keep 5%. The mediocre people, you know, the, the, the person who's in mid, the middleman, basically, right? Yeah. He keeps 20 Yeah, you're just the peon. You're just somebody who's, like, begging for the scraps of this operation. No, no. When it comes to the smart ones, you know, we get defeated. Let's say, for example, you, you're a smart one, right? So we got defeated, no money can come in, right? Right. But you know, there is a lot of situations when we get dumb It's not like you, but you know what I mean? 65, 70 years old people. No, I said, you have wasted my 30, 40 minutes, right? right? Yes. Now, and that, that, that really gives you a lot of satisfaction, right? That you have saved one of your countrymen yeah, by, right. by getting scammed. Right. But do you think, do you think it's going to affect me? Because once we speak, right, once we are done, once I'm going to hang up on you, right? Do you think I'm going to go home or do you think I'm going to go to my next call? No, yeah, ready? you're going to feel so much regret that you're going to turn your life around, probably give yourself to Christ and then never do this again. That's what I really think is going to happen. And why? And why? And why do you think I'm going to do that? Well, I, I just I feel that there's some regret in your voice. I feel like this is going to be one of the last feel, times that you do it. I feel like I feel like going to Germany tomorrow. Is it possible? No, it's not possible, right? I feel like you know doing something extraordinary. It's not possible, correct? Yeah, I feel I hear it in your voice. I think you're a no, 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 no. When I go when I go in the morning, I say, "Hey, Dad, good morning. How are you?" So the first thing my dad says, "How many Americans have been scammed today?" So I said three. And my dad says, how much money did you got? I said, almost $80,000 from three people. And he said, all right, give me my cut. So I give my dad $50,000. And what he does is, you know, he goes and he knows what he has to do the next day, right? He takes the $50,000, get the best champagne. He drinks it on the road, fucks the best whore of Mike City. And this is what he does. And, I, and, I, and I'm proud of my dad. Why should I? Why should I? Why should I? I'm a bad guy. And this is my hard-earned money, right? I, I'm stealing money from you guys, right? Why right. should I donate this money? So, are you done? Are you done talking? No, I mean, I uh, I I'm I'm super fascinated with you and mm -hmm. how you cannot mm -hmm. feel empathy for people you take advantage of. That's the part that gets me. Practice, brother. Practice, practice, practice makes the man perfect. Good dude down inside. Just practice. We do a lot of practice. Yeah, we do a lot of practice. You know, scamming Americans, right? And that made us so perfect. You dumb people. You don't even know what you guys are doing. So. All right. What? What's that? Any, any more questions you have? I'm sorry. What? I, I'm sure you talk to a lot of people that are doing what I'm doing. Am I? Did I do a good job? Yeah. No, no. If you ask me to rate you, I'm going to rate you two out of ten. Dang! What? What did I do wrong? How can? I, how can I get better? Boga, I have deal with a lot of people, and you don't know me, all right, to whom you're dealing with, all right? I have my own mansion of $900,000 here in India. You want to come and see that? If I ever visit the country, I absolutely will. If you visit the country, I'm going to cut your into two pieces. Really? Why would you do that? Yeah. 
Why should I not? Why should I not? You just wasted my 30 minutes, you know? There has to be a revenge, right? But did you did you, so you know? Have... When, when did you know that I was messing with you? Was it when I told you or did you have a suspicion? I tell you, I tell you, I tell you very exactly. We came to know that it's a red flag. And this is definitely not a customer, but a son of a Right. And that is when you were, you know, when you were just disconnecting the team viewer every now and then, correct? And that's where it was a red flag. And then when I just opened that picture of that f***ing lady, remember? Yeah. That whom I said beautiful, yeah. was actually possibly your mother, Seth. So that was a red flag, brother. However, you know, no hard feelings, no problem. You are doing your job, we are doing my job. All right? Got it? I, I, I got it. But you, when you were struggling, that was probably the best part of it. When, when you were doing the password part, watching you guys struggle, that was, that, that was a little bit fulfilling on my end. Mm, no, no, no. I, I got that part. So at least I'm happy that, you know, because of me, you got some satisfaction. But you need to understand one thing. Today, when you go to bed and when I go to bed, right, there's a difference. The difference is you go to bed with empty pockets. I'm going to slap you, I'm going to slap you left and right so hard, your entire face glows red. But see, $20, my... $20,000 in one day, my, my, $20, in one day, what do you do? You send your mother or your sister on the road. See, my 20000 um, my 20000 I don't have to give to my keeper like you do. You probably get about, what, about 500 maybe a day? That's all right. Okay, you, you, don't, you don't have to be embarrassed. Brother, brother, you're losing the game. Now, you are losing your temper. No, you no, not, right? I'm, I'm not losing my temper at all. The thing is, I would have appreciated if you would have been honest with me. Are, are, you, are you married? Are, are you a married guy? Me? Yeah. What difference does it make if, I, if I'm married or not? i just just curious. You said that you wake up and you talk to your dad, so I imagine you still live at home. So you, when you give your money to your dad, he buys the mansion and you live in the basement. And I, I, There's nothing to be embarrassed about. If you give all your money to the main guy there... And if you uh, live you in your parents' basement, I mean, there's nothing to be ashamed about. Stop. I'll show you how to take a scam call. Be ready. All right, just shut the f*** up. A customer just called me to get a scam. Hold on. All right, just be quiet. All right? Okay. Yeah, thank you for calling the refund department of McAfee and Tire Wires. This is Adam. How can I help you? Hello? Who yeah. Yeah, hi, this is Adam, and uh, you have just called McAfee and Tire Wireless Refund Department. How may I help you? Uh, so I just got an email saying that I was being charged for a cancer uh, security plan. Yes, ma'am, and I believe that is $399.99, correct? Yeah, and I don't want this, and I have no idea. Uh, how are you charging this to me? Uh, Ma'am, the money will be debited. It's actually an auto debit, and the money has been debited from the same card which you have used three years back uh, purchasing McAfee, if you do remember. Yes, please, uh, please just return the money. And I, I sure, Ma'am. So, oh, so, no, don't do sure, it. Sure, Ma'am. You are trying. Don't so do I believe it. you don't wish you, and I believe you want to cancel and get your refund, correct? I want to cancel and get my refund. Sure, ma'am. Uh, can I, could you please help me with your first name and your last name? Uh, I don't want to help you with anything. <laughs> <laughs> I got that part. I however, mean, however... Mm-hmm. Okay, ma'am. It's, see, it's all about... See, it's, 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 it's all real. Yeah, it's all real. I tell you why. I'm sorry. Come again. Yeah, where are you located? What's your name? How do I know you're real? All right, ma'am. The thing is that we she's are smart. here in Tampa, Florida. She's smart. Address. I think she's. I think she's got you. She's on yes, you. Yes, she got me. Just hold on, hold on, hold on, Andrea. Hold on. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what's the question? Where we are? We are in Tampa, Florida, three fifty Rockstar Road, Empire State Building. Okay. You know what? Never mind. I, yeah. I I yeah. Not. You go. That's a victory right there. <laughs> There's a victory, all right. Did you see that? Okay, Andrea. Yes, Andrea. Uh, she just, feel- all right. Do you think I'm a dead like you? Um, you know what? I don't know. I, did, I think you're desperate. I, I think you're doing things out of no, I'm not necessity. Yeah, I'm I'm if you allow me to speak, I'm going to speak or else I'm going to hang up on you. Listen to me. Yeah. I'm not desperate. This customer just called me, right? And she was smart, right? Yeah, she and was. And if you observe, if you observe, I was never aggressive. I never pushed her just to turn on the computer and all that. You know why? 
Why? Because we know one thing. I tell you what, and this is really going to pinch you hard. Be ready for this, all right? Okay. We know one thing, you know, when we work for eight to 10 hours in a day, right? We get a lot of Andreas. We get a lot of customers like you who are not interested and they're just calling us to waste our time. Yeah. Yes or no? Right. right. Oh, yeah. We don't do that because that's the nature of the business. But you know what, brother? There's always one customer who comes in, gives you fifty, sixty thousand dollars in one single night, making a wire transfer, and you have to accept that, right? And we and we focus on that one customer. We f- ten thousand Andreas every day that calls us and wastes our time. Even this customer who just called us, right? She was smart, right? Yep. She was smart enough to know that it might be a scam. And rung up on me, I've- Andrea. I never pushed her anymore, right? Right. I know why. You know why? Because I wanted her to hang up on me so that the line is free and somebody else can call me. And who knows, she might be or he might be the next victim with fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. So Andrea, we are good, all right? Got it? You, I just want I just wanna pray to God that you stay blessed, you stay happy, and I hope you're gonna pray the same for me as well. Okay? All right. Well, I hope everybody's as smart as that last caller. I wish you nothing but defeat. Got it. I accept my defeat. All right. But right. I promise you one thing. But I promise you one thing. Today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, somebody will be defeated by me as well. All right. Well, we'll, we'll keep up the fight. It'll be me against you for all time. Uh, not possible. I tell you why. This number will be blocked. By the way, because I can't entertain like you every single day i'm free right now that's the reason i'm talking to you what do you think i'm gonna accept your call every day and talk to you well, for no, no, I, 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 I actually i am the andrea what do you think i don't know that when you guys get a scammer's number you put that in the internet right of course and then there's a lot of calls which is bombarded in that call center right yes different people calling and wasting the time yep always remember one thing when you think that you are one step ahead, yeah. you are not. Because a scammer always thinks about the future. We know what's going to happen next, right? Yeah. And I can promise you one thing. You, you try calling this number, and then you're going to get the dose of your own medicine that this number that you're calling is not available anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Goodbye, Andrea. All right. Thank you for joining us for this episode. The best way we found to inform the public is to gather firsthand intelligence. We use ourselves as guinea pigs to see how these scams work, how they're built, and then we reverse engineer them and then we let you guys know so that you can protect yourself from them. I do not recommend that any of you engage with these scammers. They're extremely manipulative and they're very good at what they do. You want to steer clear of them. So here's the advice and you yourself can use this and let everybody you care about know. Just because the doorbell rings does not mean that you need to answer it. Just because a text message comes in, just because an email comes in, just because a DM comes in, you are free to ignore it. Don't feel like you're being impolite because you ignore it. Keep yourself safe. Keep your family safe. First identify it, then ignore it. All right, catch you guys next time.